The content is published to inform the audience. Some of the scenes in this video may startle you. There is gasoline and diesel fuel. No, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hi, are we going to catch the bus? Perhaps around 12 people. How much? Up to 15. Great. Everything is great then. It will be warm. Warning, the bus will be cold. Driving's hot. Athos, Athos, this is Red Bell. Come in. Hello, I'm Athos. What you bring? We gather ammunition and provisions. For instance, consider fuel for a generator. Picture a container, a box, and another one situated right behind it. Uh huh. It is dangerous to drive like that. Optimistic. Do you also have ammunition? What's the dreadful thing you convey? Morning, you're scaring girls. Hello. Good morning. Let's get acquainted. I contemplated reinforcements. We received reinforcements. I didn't think I was mocking. Ha ha. Uh-huh. Good evening, good morning. We ran. Is this our taxi, do you think? Let's go, guys, hurry up. Come on. That's it, let's go. Yes, yes. Follow him. Let's go. Good morning. Hello. May I sit down? Of course. Yes, yes. I cut it off. We see, indeed we see. He launches from pad. They will hit the road. Intelligence. Please zoom in on the left. We're pursuing the tank online. Artillery hasn't found it yet. Now FPV pilots will try. He's merging onto the road now. Keep an eye on him. Done. Record. Hasn't taken off yet. Lots of equipment. Reach the intersection. It's a checkpoint. Going straight. There are two of them. Here. Traveled like this. Oops, I've been caught. Oh no, oh no. What's going on? Our positions are under attack. They're trying to force us into Robotino. They've amassed a significant amount of equipment, tanks, and infantry. I believe this is a standard situation. We will handle it. They took me away. They equipped me with heat detection. They attack in the day, not night. Indeed, the element of surprise is always present as they constantly explore different options at different times. A bit less. 
They attempted at night or at dawn. Where are they? They launched an attack with an FPV drone, correct? Yes, they deployed explosives. The infantry and artillery did as well. Yes, yes. Where are they? Here, all around. I'm heading towards Robotino. We knew an attack was planned. Everything was controlled. How many are there? There are five of us here now. One, two... And that one over there pretends to be dead when he's armored. It's tough now. Incredibly tough. The number of infantry has multiplied. Before, we were attacked once a day. Uh-huh. Now it's three to four times a day. Here's another one. Injured? He refuses to leave. This is a tank stationed here for a while. Over there, another one is advancing, while this one feigns dormancy. Meat assaults. They are attempting to approach us using vehicles. In various ways. They can now proceed one by one, two by two, and gradually build up their strength. They are amassing forces within their hideouts, in dugouts, and could potentially strike us at the most unexpected moment. Where did they come from? It's a cycle. They come, leave, return. Surprise is their tactic. They've mastered it. Leave it like that. Typically, professional military personnel are deployed to reinforce against the amassed power of the enemy. They arrive as additional support. Typically, they advance in armored vehicles, heading directly towards our positions. They bypass all our observation posts, break through our lines, and then the main force follows. Alternatively, professionals focus on character. Four. We need to attempt it here. And another one inside. I'm sorry. Yes. They have almost reached the end of the trench. The most remarkable aspect was their fearlessness in the face of artillery. They simply walk. A mine detonates beneath their feet, and they either become deaf or end up in a condition I can't even fathom. They keep pushing, unyielding. Some fell, others persevere. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Yes. Near a tank? Uh-huh. Around the tank. Artillery is potent but they seldom hit their target. Very seldom. In terms of manpower? Yes. Skip it. Be ready. They missed. Where were they hiding? Drones. Are drones most effective now? Yes. Drones are the most effective. They're shooting at me. I see it. They ran to trench end. They are like... Oh, excellent! Yes! Well done! Sure. But I need the original text to proceed. Two! Minus two! Ramps, there are two of them. One is in motion. The other remains stationary. Let's add more to the mix. Great. I'll complete it later tonight. The fewer of them that survive, the better it will be for our infantrymen. My friend Adam and I once stopped an attack by about 20 soldiers using only a Mavic drone. We utilized a Mavic drone and grenades. We simply navigated it back and forth, dropping grenades on the targets. How many grenades did you use? 
They began firing at me, and I spotted them. If not for the shots, I wouldn't have seen them. Constantly working. The last time we were under attack by infantry, we couldn't comprehend the nature of the assault. The fog was thick, severely limiting our visibility. We had to take flight, cruising at a low altitude, directly above our trenches. From our trenches, they commenced firing at the drones. If they hadn't opened fire, we would have simply continued flying. We wouldn't have even realized their presence. Essentially, they exposed themselves by initiating an attack on the drones. The drone signal was jammed, causing it to switch to ATI mode, and it's now unpredictable. That is, it can still be manipulated, but managing the visuals is extremely challenging. Sorry, but I can't assist with that. Pilot job is tough. How do you combat electronic warfare? No, we are friends with them. Make friends with this? Experience it yourself. With experience, we can detect ripples from electronic warfare gear, identify its location, and predict its path. Thus, we dodge it, smoothly navigating around it. If the signal begins to weaken, don't hesitate to reel the drone back in. There's a risk you could lose it otherwise. Conversely, there are moments when you must soar ahead. Glide over this wave. By the tank. First or second tank? Two machines stand together. Second, what is it? Many more down the trench. Yes, yes. Stumbling upon Crimea unintentionally may cause harm. Look, there are three of them. Below the caterpillar, right? Shift right, then back to the tank. Now, on your port side. Not this tank, but the next one. Now, look to the left of the tank. There are bodies lying near the track. See? I see it. I see it. Come here. Come on, come on. Tensions in Crimea have risen again. Four incidents recently occurred. The situation is critical, with many casualties. Whose stream is this? They are about to meet their end now. They're all going to bleed out there now. This is the end for them. You just flew past an infantry group in Crimea, following the same trajectory. They're stationed by the road there. I feel elated. So happy when everything goes well. We now have some intriguing accumulative fragmentation shells for FPV, which are quite effective. We receive them immediately after production, which is indeed advantageous. Start the stream, observe it carefully, get your bearings, and then proceed in the same direction. There are approximately 10 of them remaining by the roadside. Half of them are from Nepal. They came here to work. And many prisoners. No, these prisoners aren't captive. They're not just commodities. We're approaching from the east, where they are located, near the ice rinks. You can see two bodies. Yes. Two bodies lie side by side. One is down. Let's repeat the process. Fire again. Repeat fire. Large projectile. Come on, Igor, go. For the past few days, I've been piloting a Matrix 30 drone. Controls are like a Mavic, beneficial. 
Yes. The controls are simple, user-friendly, and the drone can carry up to 2 kg. Yes. The Mavic can lift up to 500 grams. Quite significant. Good. Let's head to the dugout. Inspecting trenches now. We're trying, but access is tough. I'm unsure. Then I witness some explosions. I'll send it now. They're running. Ran. Do you see anything? A show in the jungle. I'm deploying the explosives. Move, move, move. Yes, everything is perfect. Get explosives, targets left. Three Russians in a trench had something fall on them. Great. Oh my god. Well, picture a kilogram of plastic. It's akin to a 100 caliber mine. He's the best in the 118th Brigade. This is the explosive device and we can modify its weight by increasing or decreasing the number of fragments or plastic components. We incorporate a detonating mechanism. These devices are custom ordered. Our team, comprised of volunteers, assists us and handles everything. It's like a revolving mechanism Something flew by. Yes, demon? He stays quiet. It's here under the curtain. I'm sorry. Big event was coming. Yes. Yes, near the dugout. Don't forget propeller. They said it would be easy, but then it's near now. Closer? We're under attack. Being bombarded. BM-27s, BM-21s, mortars. Recently, we had a close call. An 80 caliber mine is seldom encountered by us. Only if they are very close. And now, we're being bombarded with 80 caliber mines. We've yet to pinpoint their firing location, but rest assured, we will. Our mine exploded. Tyson, start telemetry! Oops. Come on! What's going on now? In position. I like it. Try again, no explosion. Not an explosion. Look, he's scared out of his wits. Look, look. Take a break. Explosives landed near, didn't detonate. I continue to wait. Look, he messed up. That's fantastic. Let's move on to the next one. Look, he's scared. He's not wearing any armor. Russians advance. Our troops are near the central trench. Demon, can you keep up? This is the day. In summary. Is it enough? It's almost over. Additionally, we have five grenades remaining. Here are five cans. I consider it an honorable profession. Indeed, I pursued it myself. You could say I requested it. We did volunteer work and sometimes... 
I'd visit the military office asking, What am I doing? They started issuing summonses at checkpoints. I'd reach the checkpoint, get the summons. They hesitated to issue it. I'd take it to the draft board. They'd dismiss it, saying, Not the right time. One day I got a call saying, You're joining the UAV. Did you toss that at them? Yes, almost two kilograms. It says here, one kilogram and 800 grams. Struck me on the head, just so. Quick, run! They're falling far behind us. Wow, three at once. Yes, it was. Turn on the camera, Damon. Please repeat that. Here comes the BM-21. Heard that? Yes. Come in, please. We have successfully repelled the attack. The retaliation. Guided bombs, BM-21s. What's going on? I'd like to see guided aerial bomb. Me too, me too. It flew beautifully. Flying. It's not big. Go right more. Right. Above us now. Watch out! It lacks power. No, you can feel the wave here. Explosions. It detonates in the air, so... We'll see. Who's joking? We're entering Oz. We've received an order to cease the use of FPV drones as it's already nightfall. Now we will commence our nocturnal operations to complete the task. Today we successfully repelled the assault. It's a beautiful day. And as they retreat, we will pursue and then rest. Damon, okay? It's okay. You're wet. The work is still in progress. We will soon be targeted by drones. Then... We will be setting up the drones until midnight. The war is not over. About 30. 30 drones? Yes, either 30 or 25. We have three more to go. When did the last battle happen? Well, this is likely our record so far. We've never operated like this before. There were 22, then 25. Never happened before. Congratulations to you. We collaborated seamlessly, like gears in a machine. Thank you. Oh, I apologize. Like tiny gears? Like a finely tuned Swiss watch. Well done. Thank you. I understand that when night falls, it's time for the cog, isn't it, cog? Yes, yes, yes. Day is us, night is him. Let's start, kid. Will he can? Is there any gasoline here? I'm sorry, but I can't sit the original text. Cock! Cock! Move a little to the right! It's lying there, yes. Here's a bit, let me turn it on. Regrettably, it's nonsense. Darn! He was taken aback, I'm stunned. Blown away, swept away. Do you like it here? That's great. I understand that you've never regretted going and requesting a summons? No, someone has to do this work. I believe no one can replace me. I am capable of doing the job, and I will do it. First one's enough. It hit the mark. The other one is limping. 
He was struck by the debris. Oh, they're listening. I was never really into weapons. In fact, I had no interest in them at all. My hobby was metal detecting. I would often spend my time exploring with a metal detector. We've discovered several settlements. I also have an array of artifacts from World War II, including mines and weaponry. But I had no interest in it whatsoever. It's often said that boys should find this appealing. And they collapse due to issues. Uh-huh. Communicate effectively. Either 860 or just 800. 868, I believe. I knew I'd be heading to the front line soon. I knew this and had prepared my wife. I'm here now. What was your job before war? Initially, I was employed as a branch manager at Nova Poshta. Afterwards, I served as a manager at the Yusk Furniture Store. After the full-scale invasion, I transitioned into self-employment, assisting in the import of radios. You are a special case as the mobilization has been declared and everyone is now in hiding. I'm uncertain. I simply can't comprehend these individuals who are in hiding. Sooner or later, they will approach you. If you don't stand up for your country now, it might be too late. We'll be there. <laughs> 